February has been the driest so far on record. And as we take a look at some of the uh, dates here uh, contributing to some of the driest Februaries, we've been looking at 1995 with almost a quarter inch of rain, about a tenth of an inch around 1852 and 1896, and just a trace amount here in 1899. Now in 2020, we're looking at no rain at all for the month of February. We really haven't seen that rain since the end of January, so it's been quite a while. We have one day left in February, and it's actually the leap year, so there would be an asterisk next to that to mark up that February 29th may have rain. We do have a little bit of precipitation out there in the forecast that could bring in rain on the very last day of February, but would it be enough if we got it to actually start making us contend with the driest February? Because at this point, we are the driest ever, but if we get more than 0.04, well, that still is the record from 1899, so we'll have to wait and see tomorrow if we got any rain registered at all in Sacramento. To, to really make us the driest on record. At this point, I'm betting pretty safe to say we're gonna be the driest we've ever seen. Okay, so let's take a look at our drought monitor. Where does that put us when we talk about being dry? We are abnormally dry. 46% of California is abnormally dry, moderate dry at 10%. Now, what does this all mean? How does it play out? Should be, we be worried? Well, don't be worried. We did have a pretty big year last year in terms of snowpack how much snow, how much rain are in the reservoirs, and we do have a pretty good amount, substantial amount, even over 100% in the Shasta area. So it's not really a big concern unless you're really putting this back to back years of very dry weather, then you should start being a little concerned. So at this point in time, we're looking pretty good despite the fact that we're having the driest February on record. So don't worry too much about that just yet. Okay, let's talk about our weekend weather headlines because a wind advisory will go into effect for your Sunday. We're talking gusts as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour and the winds anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour in the valley. Now Sierra winter weather, that's going to start hitting around 6,500 feet. I want to point this out because this is the level here that we expect to see the most snow at and much higher as well. Anything below that, there could be a little bit, a little bit of a slosh here and there. And we'll see some of these snow levels dropping to even as low as two to 3,000 feet, but at that point in time when they do drop that low, we're looking at cold temperatures allowing for that, but we're not looking at any precipitation to move in to actually make that a reality when we talk about the snow level. Now, increasing cloud coverage, that's going to move in for your Saturday. We're talking right into the early afternoon hours. The clouds start moving in off of this cold front extending off into the Pacific. Now, you can see the clouds there. That's going to continue making its way into Northern California as we move throughout the day. And with that, it's also going to bring in the northerly winds. We're going to start to see the effects of these winds in the Sierra Saturday and through the coastal range. But for the valley, we'll just expect about 10 mile per hour winds for your Saturday and then really starting to pick up as we move into Sunday. Let's talk about the snowfall and all the timing of snow and possibility for rain. As we move through our Saturday, we'll get into the about 3.30 p.m. zone time. And you'll look at Yosemite there. You see a little bit happening there in terms of trace amounts. And then fast forward, we get a little bit more into 6.30 p.m. near Truckee and South Lake Tahoe. A quick scattered shower possible near Fairfield. And this is where it gets tricky because these little scattered showers that pop up that could contribute to some rainfall in the calendar for February. And that's where we're kind of looking to see, will we see any rain at all for February? Well, fast forward there and there it is. This is what I want to point out to you. You see some of the rain extending as far south as a quick little shower near Sacramento. And this is what we're watching later tonight at around 9.30 p.m. because that could contribute to that driest record we had uh, earlier that I showed you. Well, if we get enough rain, we could actually not be the driest on record. We could uh, just be just above that 0.04 mark. Now take a look at Truckee South Lake Tahoe. You see that purple shade there instead of the white. This is where we start to get some of the fluffier snow. We're looking at some more of a slosh and heavy snow stuff coming down there. And then we finally start to see it move south 5.30 a.m. on Sunday. So now that we've moved through the overnight hours, you're looking at another hit here around 1030 AM, or we're looking at a lot more snowfall. It's cooled off overnight and the precipitation's moving in, turning it to snowfall at some of the higher elevations. So we could see as much snow as anywhere from three to six inches, right around 6,000 to 6,500 feet, and then even more snow at some higher elevations. So let's take a look here. As you see some of the colors, some of the highest spots here further south, we're talking off of 120, that pink shade. You're looking at as much as even 24 to 30 
36 inches possible further south through the Sierra. But as we take a look closer to home for us, uh, just off 108, 488, you're seeing some of that bluish shade there, about three to six inches possible. And the further north you get, a little less snow. So we will expect some of the heavier snow to remain further south, especially closer to the Yosemite area. All right, let's talk about the winds because the winds are going to play a part in your day no matter where you are. If you're in the valley, you're going to see the winds begin picking up as we start moving into Sunday. So 2 p.m. in the afternoon, you can see the strong winds through the Sierra and the coastal range. Things start to slow down just a bit for everyone overnight. We're looking at calm winds to even light 5 to 10 mile per hour winds. Finally, into Sunday, you're looking at 330. 20 mile per hour winds in the valley and in the coastal range in that red shade about 30 mile per hour winds. We could see some spots as high as 40 to 45 miles per hour as you can see in that purplish color here through the Sierra. So we will see the winds really picking up throughout Sunday and moving into Monday though. We'll also begin to see some of those uh, winds through the morning hours, but things will start to slow down through your afternoon hours. So temperatures dropping in anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees just from yesterday. So we are cooling down significantly today as that cold front passes passes through mid 60s to low 60s on Sunday. We'll finally get right around 70 degree mark on Monday and then the high temperature here of 77 on Wednesday. It's going to be the warmest day of the week before we see another chance of showers on Saturday.